is it possible to modify the iPhone 11 Pro? I don't know, but I want to find out. I've been getting a bunch of messages about headphone jacks and USB-C, and I've been looking at a bunch of other teardowns that other folks have done, and I just can't quite see what I need to see to answer the question. So I'm headed over to the uh, Apple store here in San Francisco, and I'm gonna pick one up, take it apart, and we'll find out for real. I don't have a reservation, but uh, I'm looking to buy a phone. Uh, two 11 Pro Maxes. I love gray. 164 and 1512. Well, that was a bit of a bust. They are only selling phones on a reservation basis right now, and I don't have a reservation, so I gotta come back at uh, six. Kind of screws my rest of my afternoon. But uh, the guy did recognize me from my videos, uh, along with several of his coworkers, and that's always nice. So, come back in a few hours here. And how does trade-in work? So I buy buy the phone today, bring yeah. that back. I just need to bring one of these back. I think I'm already signed up. Ah, so I got not one, but two phones and a case. This 64 gig is to take apart, and this 512 is for me to use. As Bunny Huang, the infamous electronics hacker says, uh, you should always have one to take apart, one that you've left unmodified, and then one to modify. And so I've got two out of the three of those. Uh, I figured I'd hold off on the third one to modify until we figure out what we can do. Let's crack this open. So it boots. Uh, let's immediately break it. Usually there is a, a gasket that goes around here. And I suspect as these phones get more and more waterproof, that gasket is only getting stronger and stronger. But first we have two screws to remove here. So break out my trusty toolkit and get into it. Probably need suction cup, some picks, budgers, some tweezers. Now, this Airbnb didn't come with a heat gun, but it does have something pretty close to a heat gun. Put on the uh, special phone attachment. I'm used to opening up the second hand ones, which usually don't have as good adhesive. <laughs> okay, I've got a thumbnail in there. Check that out. The next step is always to unplug the battery. I heard there are actually two battery connections, so I'm gonna go after both. Next, I wanna remove the screen and get rid of that right there. So that big cluster of cables there, it's super easy to rip in all iPhones. Screen is off successfully. I think we can begin to look at this thing now. So let me actually take a, take a step back here and explain what I'm looking for. I am looking for empty space anywhere in here that we can stick stuff <laughs> to mo for modifications. Getting it to work electrically is a challenge, but an even bigger challenge is how do you fit it inside the phone? These phones you know they just Apple uses all of the space that they can um, or at least they claim to and so the trick is, can we find anything extra that they didn't use that we can cram stuff into? Uh, so I'm looking in particular down here um, for space for like a headphone jack or uh, or USB-C somewhere around the lightning. Uh, I did notice this huge empty space here and got all excited for one moment before I realized, oh, that's where all of this stuff goes, which it's a speaker, I think. I mean, we could play with that. It's gonna be hard to see. This is one of the reasons that I wanted to look at it myself because this is very hard to figure out from pictures. But if you sort of line them up and fit them together, you can often see if there's a little extra space in there. It looks like there's a maybe a tiny bit, but not a lot. The other place that I'm seeing space is right next to the Taptic engine here. So this is where I stuck the headphone jack in the seven. And that little corner still, so I'm gonna leave the battery alone. There's a bunch of sticky st strips under it. I don't, I don't really need to remove it right now to learn what I wanna learn, but I'm gonna pull all of these pieces out. I think I wanna pull the speaker out next. Phillips and a driver. Oh, here it is. So 
That right there is, is the little standoff tool. It's just a cross with a little divot. Now the speaker is out, we can see a little bit more of what's going on here. So that out. So that plugs into this flex cable that goes here. Let's take the Taptic engine out. A lot more space in here. I, I don't understand what this is. Is this another speaker? I got some more screws to take out. What is that? This little white thing here. That looks a lot like the barometric vent used to look in the seven. Let's pry this off. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is a more refined version of the same piece of plastic that Apple was cramming in where they used to have the headphone jack three or four phone iterations ago, whenever the seven was. Since the seven, uh, I think that little white bit is actually the barometric vent. The rest of it is just a piece of plastic. It's just a plastic clip that t it takes up too much space. There's a lot of space down here. What is this right here? So this is microphone. Don't know what this is. I'm guessing antenna assembly of some sort. I have removed what I call the bottom flex cable. This one is definitely the coolest one I've ever seen. <laughs> it's got a sandwiched board here. So it's got two layers of board in there for sure. And, uh, and shielding and stuff. There's definitely some, some serious magic going on there. But up front here is the standard lightning jack. That is just soldered down on top of the flex cable sitting right there. If I was to do USB-C, I think that would be obviously prime location. <laughs> That's where you'd want to stick the USB-C jack. And I think you would just desolder that and build a board that solders down a flex cable that solders down to that connector, just like I did for the headphone jack. And then the USB-C jack would sit on top of that board on the other side. Future Scotty here, uh, I had to step in while we were editing this. I realized I didn't really do this justice. Uh, I needed to go find this, which is the conversion logic that I was talking about. And it's not a USB-C to lightning adapter. It's just a USB-C to lightning cable. I, I was thinking of headphone adapters when I said that before. It's just the cable. It's the cable that comes with the phone. So this is the inside of the lightning uh, side of that cable. And I, I took the cable to the shop, took it apart, uh, and got this out. This is the important logic that does the lightning to USB-C conversion, and it does the, the Apple MFI um, made for iPhone authentication for the cable, all of that stuff. Um, this, we'd have to find a place for this inside the phone. Back to Scotty in the past. You'd have to find a place in here for that board. And so I think that's really the question is where would you stick extra electronics to do conversion from say USB-C to lightning or for the headphone jack, just the same way I did with the seven. Electrically, the headphone jack should be exactly the same between this model and the seven. I see absolutely no reason that they would be different. I feel fairly certain that this piece of plastic is bullshit and that you totally don't need it. Well, you need it if you want your phone to be waterproof. <laughs> um, I'm gonna not worry about that as a constraint. I've never worried about that. It's possible, it's just a lot of engineering work I don't think is very interesting. And then the question is, do I have enough vertical space? So the problem last time was the screen, and actually there is a chip here that you'd have to worry about. That might be a problem. There's some possibility here. I think USB-C is very possible. <sighs> Am I gonna have to do this? I don't wanna. Oh. So, so here's what's going on in my head. The headphone jack took me three months of full-time heart-wrenching work. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, I could definitely see how this would be possible. <sighs> but do I really want to sign up for three months worth of agony? It's one thing to, to jump into an adventure like that, naive and not having any idea what you're signing up for. It's another thing to do it again once, once you have.
I don't wanna make any promises in this video that I'm definitely gonna add USB-C to an iPhone. But what I think I can say definitively is yes, I do believe it's possible. I don't know what to say. I was gonna say, leave a comment below if you think I should do the USB-C jack. Maybe you'll sway me over. But I think it's gonna come down to do I really want to go through the agony of that again? Do I want to put all the hours into that? Or do I want to go out and do some other interesting projects um, that I've got lined up? So, I'll at least solicit your opinion, see what you guys think. Yeah, yeah. Lots of possibilities, lots of possibilities. Today's sponsor is Skillshare. They gave me a bunch of money to go buy a very expensive phone and take it apart and probably break it in the process, uh, all for your curiosity and mine too. And I get asked by a lot of people, hey Scotty, how do I learn to do what you do? And honestly, I, I think Skillshare is a, a great resource for that. They have tons of classes ranging from, from technical to creative to entrepreneurial. For example, if you wanna learn to do electronics, there's a great Arduino course by Mark Froenfelder, who's a friend of the channel and used to be the editor in chief of Make Magazine. Or if you wanna learn to program, there are great courses on Python and other languages. Uh, but for me, since I started Strange Parts, I've been really obsessed with getting better at, at filmmaking and storytelling. And right now I'm diving into a course about color grading to make Strange Parts look even sexier and, and more cinematic. They have thousands of classes and premium membership gives you unlimited access. So you can join whatever classes or communities you're into, whether it's just for fun or whether it's for your career. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially compared to in-person classes and, and workshops. Uh, an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can click the link down in the description and get a two month free trial. That about does it for this time. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I will see you again soon. I am still working on the big project that I keep hinting about, the big secret project here in San Francisco. We are really, really close. We got it fully working. Uh, everything's plugged together. There's one last little hurdle that I have to deal with on Monday. Um, and if that goes smoothly, we'll be in the home stretch here. We're starting to edit the video. It's a heck of a story. We, we have been through a ton of, of trials and tribulations and there's all sorts of side quests and I can't wait to share it with you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, below if, if you haven't already um, so, that you, so that you see that when it comes along. Um, and uh, stay tuned, should, should be uh, out in a few weeks. As always, I'm Scotty from Strange Parts. I'll see you again soon.